the programs that I use on my uh, day to day. No, I can't speak English. Uh, the programs that I use daily are uh, Visual Studio mostly. That's where I spend much of my time uh, creating and fixing bugs. Uh, Notepad++ for editing Lua uh, and uh, model files and so on. Uh, I use a web browser to find out exactly why my stuff doesn't work. Uh, and uh, of course all of our uh, homebrew tools. We've got a, the editor, a, a decoder uh, for lower debugging. And uh, I'm sure there's, there's a bunch more tools uh, that I can't think of at the top of my head. Uh, every day I spend most of my time in Visual Studio 2005. That's what we use for all of our C++ programming. And I use the Visual Sidekick plugin for that, which I really like a lot. Um, for all the Lua programming, which I don't do too much of, but occasionally I do, we use Dakota, which is our, our own tool. And probably the only other tool that I use pretty often is Notepad++, uh, which is really useful for just checking log files or uh, just any other text manipulation that needs to be done. Uh, programs, mostly I use 3D Studio Max for loading up animation files, uh, Photoshop, I need to fix any textures. I use uh, most of the tools from uh, from the Spark Engine, like the viewer, um, you know, the animation graph, um, and Notepad to make like compile files and such like stuff like that. Uh, I think that's mostly what I use. So I use Photoshop for the bulk of my work during the day. Um, I also use 3D Studio Max. I use Fraps for recording some footage. I use Premiere. Um, and then I also use GChat for probably a large amount of my day because I have to stay in touch with all of our off-site workers, so I'm always in communication with them, giving them feedback. Uh, Campfire and um, some of our proprietary tools like the Model Viewer. And, uh, yeah. All right, well, it all starts with the computer, monitors, uh, Visual Studio for C++, Dakota for Lua, uh, Notepad++ Notepad++ for Python uh, subversion, WinMerge, Dropbox, Windows Calculator, Google Chrome, Google Chat, Google Docs, Google App Engine, Gmail, Notepad, Paint.net, Spotify Headphones, very important, Steam, Pivotal Tracker, Mantis Bug Tracker, Campfire, TeamSpeak, um, lots of heavily caffeinated tea, uh, lungs and veins and all that stuff I suppose, uh, pens maybe, books, that's about it. So um, I use a lot of different programs because my role is probably a little more diverse than a lot of other people's roles here. Because I do a lot of, I do a lot of administration, and I also do game design and some light programming. So yeah, I use obviously Gmail, um, Campfire for all the chatting. We all use this stuff. Pivotal Tracker, which is basically where I uh, enter new features that I want people to work on. Um, and this is like a special design version of a design project in Pivotal Tracker. So I kind of specify uh, features here. And actually you can see like this particular feature, I don't know if you can zoom in and see this. Um, I'll specify the name of the feature and then I'll usually link like a Google Doc. And then the document here will be like um, a full description of, sometimes it'll be like mock-ups or whatever, like here I actually, you know, sketched a UI that I wanted and or changes to our current UI, and then I just go through and describe the feature, or sometimes I'll even specify like gameplay variables, and so that way I can tweak the values later. So I specify what those, what the variables are going to be called, so uh, to make it easy to tune. And um, so those are those things. Um, I also use a lot of Excel, which people make fun of me for around here. I don't know why, but I do. Everything in Excel, I guess that's probably what makes fun of me. Um, so yeah, I have like the whole like these are all the balance variables in NS2, and um, there's just a little oops, that's broken. Don't look at that. Um, yeah, everything from like re uh, weapon damage to build times to uh, tech tree information, health values, armor values, um, research times, upgrade times, energy costs, max energy. All that kind of stuff that all the numbers that go into making the game play well, I hope. Let's see. I also use uh, Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio, occasionally when I have to get something in or I want to just change something so I can prototype something real quickly. I also use this Balsamic Mockups, 
which is a really cool tool just for, you can use this for just mocking up an interface, or in this case I'm using it to uh, kind of draw the tech tree really quickly. It's nice just because I, this is the marine tech tree right here. Um, I can just really quickly like, you know, draw new arrows or move nodes around and it's, you know, it looks like it's uh, hand drawn. So um, it's really easy to just like make a quick sketch and not have to feel like it has to be perfect because it never can look amazing because that's the whole point of the tool. It's a prototyping tool. Um, yeah, and I sometimes will do an interface in here. I also use processing, which I had that other video that we released before. Um, so processing is a way to prototype gameplay or visuals or anything like that. So it's more programming. And those are probably all the main tools that I use.